This group of amateur actors and singers are used to treading the boards, but we've brought them along to perform in a stage show with a difference. Each week we'll be asking them to play the role of the entire population of Britain as we reveal some simple tests that can be performed by anyone in the comfort of their own home to look for the early signs of embarrassing illnesses. This week, our guinea pigs have been working hard behind the scenes to help us examine the embarrassing issue of poo. So we asked our group to take a snap of their stools for us to make a collage of their poo prints. Whilst you're looking at the poos, if there's any that you're really worried about, if any that you think are really dodgy and need a bit of medical attention, pass them to me and we'll have a look and we'll analyse them, okay? You're worried about that one? All right, thank you. It's a lot. <laughs> Anything else you're worried about? Anyone at that end? All happy? You don't like that one? Yes. You don't like that one? You don't like that one? Right, let's have a look at these poos. The first one, what's different about that poo compared to, say, a normal, nice, healthy poo? Dark. It's quite dark, but what about the form? It's floppy. It's, it, it's all in little balls. Does anyone, does this belong to anyone here? <laughs> so that's yours. <laughs> So I would say risk of risk of piles there. Was that quite hard work to get out? Yes, it was. So more exercise, less booze, <laughs> more water. Yeah. What about these two here? Oh. What can you tell me about these? Oh. So that's quite a soft, unformed poo. What might cause you to have very loose poo? Food yeah, food poisoning. In other words, infection because of overgrowth of bacteria and things. Exactly. What else? Too much, right. fiber. Too much fiber, curry, alcohol. What about digestive problems? Things like Crohn's disease, have you heard of that? Inflammatory bowel conditions could do it, yeah. What about things that we find in poo? Blood in poos, fresh bright red blood, is that worrying or not too bad? <coughs> worrying. It, fresh bright red blood in poos terrifies patients and it very, very rarely terrifies doctors because blood in a loo bowl looks very dramatic and it looks an awful lot. The truth is it usually isn't very much and it's usually coming from just around the outside, so things like hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids are a little fissure, a little tear in your bottom, can bleed and sting a little bit, but those are all fine, they'll go away. What about really dark looking, Brilliant. thick black poos? What does that mean? Yeah, blood, digested blood from high up, and that can be serious. That can mean bleeding ulcers or even tumors higher up. So you all feel happy about looking at your poos? Yeah. Yes, you know what you're doing? Excellent, good stuff. Thank you so much for these pictures. I shall treasure them, honestly. <laughs> if you want to compare how your poo squares up, go to channel4.com forward slash bodies for a complete guide on what's healthy and not so healthy. You can also take part in our national online group test and we'll reveal the results in next week's show.